Welcome to this presentation. I am Eivind Flobak and I will present our work on designing audiovisual narratives of cancer journeys. The narratives I am presenting today was designed to support reflection in an online intervention for women after treatment for gynecological cancer. The current work is presented on behalf of my collaborators. Recovering from serious illness involves a bodily and psychosocial reorientation in everyday life. For gynecological cancer survivors, this may involve dealing with late effects, such as changes to the body, cancer-related fatigue, fear of cancer recurrence, and sexual health. However, cancer survivors remain largely uninformed of effects that may occur after cancer treatment including those who have had gynecological cancers. It has been identified that survivors need interventions that can support them with educational resources and self-management tools after treatment. Online interventions that aim to improve the psychosocial health of cancer survivors are often delivered through websites and they have been found to be effective in improving overall quality of life. In Nordic countries, interventions for improving psychosocial well-being are not an integral part of rehabilitation plans. And as such, these follow-up routines need improvement to better meet the needs of survivors. Currently, most cancer survivors do not regain their previous levels of health or psychosocial well-being. This situation has prompted calls for a person-centric care model as an extension to the cancer-centric care that is often emphasized in healthcare. Important works in HCI describes how to design technology to support people on their cancer journeys. These frameworks are restricted to the time from screening and diagnosis until the person is cancer-free. However, for many cancer survivors, the journey continues after successfully completing treatment where one is expected to quote-unquote, return to normal. Personal health video logs are examples of narrative communication about the lived experience of illness that provide people with social support through video sharing sites, such as YouTube. In our work, we have attempted to partly emulate this style of health information by providing audiovisual narratives of gynecological cancer survival in an online intervention. The narratives were designed to give cancer survivors the resources to recognize and reflect on their own experiences after treatment. Moreover, we sought to give survivors stories to identify with and normalize their own struggles with returning to everyday life. Before we get into the details of our study, let's look at the study context. The online intervention consisted of six modules designed to be completed by the intervention participant over a six-week period. The intervention was presented as a website for which the participants log in and access educational information and exercises while following the program. In the first module, three fictional characters Irangna, Lilian and Guri tell the stories of gynecological cancer survival through audiovisual narratives. The audiovisual narratives were designed within the process of designing the online intervention. The narratives were based on co-author Ragnil Tvet's sexist typology of women's experiences of gynecological cancer survival. The characters and their stories were centered around sexist analytical constructs. Each narrative was written from these types and supplemented with other former qualitative studies of life after gynecological cancer. Writing the stories close to the survivors' experiences was a key goal in the process so that they could be recognizable to the target group. An artist was hired to provide illustrations for the narratives. To give voice to the characters, we recruited nursing teachers as voice actors. Five user representatives recruited from a local patient organization participated in the design process. They provided feedback on the wording of the narratives, use of imagery and overall presentation. 
For example, the representatives want us to avoid the use of medical language and rather provide descriptions in plain language. Now we will show an example of one of the characters. In the example, we meet Ragna, a 54 year old woman who were treated for cervical cancer. The video has been edited for length. Det kom helt som lyn fra klar himmel. Jeg følte mig ikke syg, og det eneste jeg merkte var at jeg plutselig var blitt litt større rundt livet. Jeg tenkte ikke at det kunne være noe alvorlig, men jeg bestemte mig allikevel for att gå til legen for att ta en sjekk. Og da jeg fortalte til legen at jeg følte at magen var blitt litt større, så verket han bekymret. Han undersøkte mig, trykket på magen, stilte mig mange spørsmål, Jeg var selvfølgelig glad for å være ferdige, men det var ikke noe sånn hurra, det var mer sånn kan nå. Det at jeg hele tiden har vært så åpen, det tror jeg også har hjulpet de rundt mig til å være åpne og støttende for mig. Vi evaluated a pilot version of the intervention, including the three audiovisual narratives in Think Aloud sessions. For the evaluation, we recruited another five participants, meaning we had 10 women evaluate the audiovisual narratives. Participants were mailed copies of the intervention material, including the text of each narrative in preparation for the evaluation. We asked participants to describe how they experienced the narratives and assess whether other people in a similar situation would identify with the character and her story. We let participants speak freely, and in cases where they themselves had a story to tell, we let them do so without our interference. The qualitative data from the evaluation was thematically analyzed. From our thematic analysis, we constructed four themes that describe the empirical data. The first one is, this is the story of me, identifying with narrative characters. Second, she only needed surgery when narratives provoke reflection. Thirdly, it sounds like a real person, realism in narratives. And lastly, aesthetic experiences of cancer narratives. For the actual analysis, please refer to our paper as it provides a detailed account of each theme. Our paper mainly provides three contributions to HCI research. First, stories of illness in online interventions can provide contextualized accounts of illness that are meaningful to participants. Seeing others, even semi-fictionalized characters, struggle with the same effects of illness can help one understand one's own story and feel less alone. Secondly, Experience-centered design can be anchored in past studies of lived experience. Such qualitative studies are valuable when access to participants are, is limited. Lastly, we call for an expanded focus on how to design technology to support people on their cancer journeys that recognizes that a survival journey can continue after primary cancer treatment. Recovering from serious illness involves a bodily and psychosocial reorientation in everyday life, and this holds implications for how we design technology to support these people in their transition. Thank you for following this presentation. Please see our paper for a detailed account of how we design the narratives and more detail on the evaluation.